Hello and welcome back. So in this one, we want to add our crude operations to our product screen. Hopefully you've already done this, but you know, just in case you haven't, here we go. Let's just copy this box layout, right? And all of its contents, all of this. And we want to simply paste it down here. Then of course, change a few things here, starting with this. This is going to be screen, product, underscore contents, all right? And this is going to be ops fields, underscore P. And of course, this is going to be underscore P as well. Underscore P here, change this from add user to add product. Then here we want to add product. Change this again to underscore P and update user, update product, sorry. And then down here we want to update product fields. Underscore P and finally remove products. Product, all right. Control us to save, and we are officially done with our KV file. So now let's create this function, all right. So what we're going to do is we are going to be using this same structure right here, all right. So let's just copy this. And of course, before we do anything, make sure we are linking to the correct screen here, all right. Now let's go down here and define add underscore product underscore fields. All right. Which takes self. And down here, we want to paste this in and of course, append the P here. And now let's add our text inputs. All right. So crude underscore. The first one is going to be the product code. It's equal to a text input with the hint text equal to product code. All right, and I'll just copy this, paste it a few times here. And of course, change this from product code to product name. And this to product weight. And then this is going to be in stock. And sold. Then we have, I believe, last purchase. And now let's change these to purchase. And this to sold and stock then wait and finally we're going to change this to name all right and i believe we have all of them now let me just check so i'll just python 3 admin.py And we have a problem, it's order, all right? So let's add our order here. We'll be down here. So let's paste this in and order. And I'll just go in here and change this to order, all right? And since we're adding a new product here, we want to be able to run our application even if we don't insert order because if it's a new product, then obviously we just ordered it, and of course, sold is going to be nothing. All right. Now let's add that submit button. All right. So, actually, what I'll do, I'll, I'll just copy this. All right. And let's go down here, remove this line. All right. Paste this in. 
and for now we are not going to be calling any function here so we'll just delete all of this Let's delete all of this. All right, and we're left with just this. Control us to save. Now we need to add these to our target. All right, so target dot add underscore widget, and the first thing we're going to add is the crude code. Copy paste this a few times. All right. And let's change this to name. And of course, this to weight. And the next one is stock. All right, and sold. And then we have order. All right. And then last purchase, so this is going to be purchase. Then finally, our submit button, so submit. All right, control us to save. Now, there's a product I have that doesn't have an order. As you can see, we have a key error order here. So, what I'll do, and what you should do also, is when we get our products, it's going to be right here, I believe. Well, we add our order here, all right? Actually, it's right here. Let's put this in a try catch exception, all right? So we'll just try this and tap this in, all right? And let's go down here and actually accept a key error here, all right? And what we're going to do. This means that we don't have, we haven't sold anything. Basically, we are just going to append nothing. All right. And do the same thing for order. So try and tap this in. And accept again. And we want to accept a key error. And we are simply going to append nothing. And finally, for last purchase as well. Because if it's a new product, then obviously we haven't purchased anything. So we'll tap this in and again put this in an accept close and and key error as well. And last purchase would append and we're going to append nothing. All right. Control us to save now and let's go down here. Run this now. All right. So now product, so I added a product here. Let me show you real quick right here. And as you can see, now it's the order is nothing. All right, so let's add a product. And now we have all of these fields. All right, so this is where we're going to stop. Any questions, leave them in the question section. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for the subscriptions and support. Like this video if you did and also share it. And by the way, I just finished a key view course on Udemy. The link is going to be in the description. So, you know, if you'd like to know more about Kiwi or are a beginner, then that course is definitely for you. Check it out and tell me what you think.